Hi there, this is Chris Prochaska and welcome to Off the Couch with Chris. In today's session, we're going to talk about the second level of healing communication, which is healing the communication between yourself and the other person. I got a deeper level of why healing communication between yourself and others is so infinitely important. It's because at a soul level, it transforms everyone and everything. See, the thing is, is that when we, we often think, well, I got to heal this communication. People go to a therapist, they go to a coach, they go to a counselor because they're like, I'm not happy. I don't feel good. I got to let go of this. I got to forgive this other person so that they, you know, so that I can move on. And, you know, I get it. A lot of times when we're trying to forgive someone else, we don't really fucking care whether or not they're happy, you know? I mean, especially if we're having to forgive them, right? I mean, it can be really challenging to be thinking about the other person and what is going on for them at a soul level. But I'd like you to consider for a moment that whatever healing work you do, whatever forgiveness work you do, actually frees that person up at a soul level and an energetic level to do the work that would have them understand your perspective and stop doing whatever the hell they're doing that is so mm, not okay. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. And I really get this because of doing some work with people who've passed on and seeing that, you know, when I'm communicating with the spirit and I'm communicating with the person that's alive, that the person in spirit, ha they are evaluating what they did. They are looking back at their life. They are going, oh my gosh, I can't believe I said that, did that. Wow. And when the, you know, the person who's here physically completes the communication with them, frees them at themselves at a soul level, frees them through that forgiveness for, for communicating what they needed to communicate to that person. It allows that person in spirit to finish their healing work too. And it doesn't end just because you die. Doesn't mean that you've just, you're, you've got a carte blanche and you're on vacation. You're working then too. So here's my motto. If I can fix it now while I'm alive, while I'm in a body, while I have choice, while I have opportunities, resources, and the consciousness to be able to take the action, then I'm going to do it now because I don't want to fucking do it later. I don't know if that's, you know, how you live your life too, but that's pretty much how I live my life. If I can clean it up now, I'm going to do it now because I really don't want to do it later. And if if I've created whatever mess I've created in this lifetime, holy heck, I'll take this mess because I can clean this up. I don't want to create something bigger in a next lifetime because I didn't fix it in this one. Just bringing a lot of deep stuff into this conversation, I know, but hey, this is the stuff I'm up to these days. And if that's something that you're curious about, get on the phone with me. Let's talk. Let's see what's going on with you. I'd love to hear your insights anyway as well. You can share those in the comments below. Um, and join me on the next session of Off the Couch with Chris because this is really all about you stopping analyzing yourself and analyzing other people and getting into action and doing the healing work that you need to do for your benefit and for everyone's benefit, okay? So we'll see you next time. Until then, take care.